Amateur Logic Shorts. Before we begin testing our crystal radio set, I thought it might be fun to take a look at some of the many variations of crystal sets throughout the years. Now the name crystal comes from the fact that the detector of the radio is a piece of crystal, usually uh, galenia. Uh, another name for the detector would be rectifier or diode. Uh, we used a diode in our kit here from Vectronics. Uh, some of the earliest sets used what they called a cat whisker, which was a little piece of wire that would come in contact with the crystal. Now there have been a lot of variations over the years. The earliest crystal radios had no tuning. It was simply the detector, a set of headphones, and a long wire antenna, and of course a ground. Later tuned circuits were added in the form of a coil that was tuned to the frequency that you wanted to receive. Uh, there are variations on that that made the coil adjustable so that you could select the number of turns in the coil for tuning. Uh, later variations used a capacitor in conjunction with a fixed coil so that you could tune with the variable capacitor. One variation of the crystal set that really caught my attention was the foxhole radio. These were used by GIs during World War I to listen to broadcast. Uh, they usually were constructed of wire, uh, toilet paper roll, and for the diode they would use a blued razor blade and a piece of carbon. So let's test our set now and see how it turned out. So I'm going to stick this little dude here in my ear and turn this knob and see if I hear anything. The Columbia Broadcasting System and its affiliated stations present Orson Welles and the Mercury Theater on the Air in the War of the Worlds. December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Actually, I hear several radio stations all at once. As I mentioned earlier, uh, I was picking up a lot of stations at once, and that is possible when you live around a lot of high power transmitters like I do. I did some adjusting with the antenna and ground system here, and uh, seemed to get a little better result. I also disconnected the headphone here and hooked up a set of wires going to an amplifier that uh, I'm feeding the signal into right now so that hopefully you can hear. Let's tune around a little bit and see what we've got. There's one station. All right, let's tune down a little farther. Car owners, are you driving without warranty protection? Is your current auto warranty about to expire? Cover America Auto is announcing inexpensive breakdown coverage. And there's one station the that can save you that's very strong there. And that one's not too far from me. It's uh, probably three miles away. And they run a directional pattern, and obviously uh, I'm in one of the main loads of it because I'm getting a good signal on them. But uh, I was picking up a couple of other stations earlier. The uh, antenna and ground system are uh, fairly sensitive here and uh, will have a great effect on things. So there you go. Free AM radio. No power. I was curious if I could hear my... 80 meter HF transmissions on this medium frequency receiver and apparently I can. This is 10 watts of AM. I couldn't help but think how cool it would be if I could get a razor blade to work with this one in place of the diode. Well you can't buy a blue razor blade anymore so you have to make your own and that involves heating up the razor blade really hot with a torch. So will our blued razor blade and a pencil lead work in place of the rectifier? 1300 WOAD. We received an email from Bill, K5LN, who said seeing the crystal set really brought back great memories for him, and he sent us some pictures of his favorite set. Now this is the front view of the set right here. Uh, you can tell he's gone into 
good detail on this one and this is more than just a simple detector. Looking at the rear we can see that the crystal set itself has three sections. On the right hand side are two notch filters and I suppose that he built these so that he could uh, tune out particularly strong stations to be able to hear some lesser signal ones. He also had an S meter on it. This is the only crystal set I've ever seen with an S meter. The middle section is the antenna tuner so that uh, he can tune into the particular frequency that he's interested in uh, no matter what length of antenna he's using. And then the left hand side is the crystal set itself. Bill, that's one fine looking radio. Thanks for sharing the pictures with us. If you enjoy Amateur Logic Shorts, please click the like button. Be sure to click subscribe to be notified when new episodes become available. And let your friends know about this video by clicking share.